this demonstration, I will focus on various papers with pan pastels, soft tools and applicators, and various pastel mediums that go hand in hand with pan pastels. This video is the second of eight videos using a handful of papers which I think most artists are asking about and the pan pastels. G'day ladies and gents, welcome to X Art. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. And in this study, I will be showing a paper called Canson Mitant Tex, which I understand is Mitant Touch. I'll go into detail about this later on in the video. Again, similar to Pastel Fix, which I'll add a link to the video if you haven't watched that video already, uh, is made specially for pastels. My focus is how the pan pastels work on this surface. Canson is a popular brand amongst artists. They make many types of papers for drawing and painting, including Ingress, which is a non-sanded surface, uh, sanded papers, and offer a variety of colors. Uh, 11 colors to be exact. The study I'm painting here is the fine grit textured surface. According to the labeling on the packaging, it's 355 GSM. Tex is typically found in Australia and the touch mostly found elsewhere in the world. Both Tex, T-E-X and touch are pretty much the same surface. Although I've had the Tex for a long time and perhaps Canson have changed this paper since and or rebranded, not sure. Uh, if you have conflicting information, I would like to read it in the comments section below. Here you see me applying pan pastels with the soft tool applicators on this cute little mushroom which you will see all the way through this study on the eight surfaces. I pick up the pigment from the pan with the soft tool applicator and was able to evenly apply the pigment on the surface. The pan pastels remained vibrant throughout the whole layering process. As you see, I'm replacing the head of this tool applicator. The replaceable heads are available in packs of eight. I was able to mix colors on this surface, which is a key feature of this medium. Again, I'm able to get into the smaller areas blending with ease. You will also notice that I'm not fighting with the surface when applying the pan colors. Here you see where I'm able to add pastel pencils and hard pastels on pastel pan pastel layers. In this study, I found it much easier to apply the pastel sticks compared to the pastel pencils. Again, I feel the softer pastel pencils work best. The pastel pencils that I had the most success with on this surface were the ones that were softer. For example, the Carbothellos, the Bronzales and the Geocondas. The hard pastels I used here were new Pastel by Prismacolor and found these also work, worked well on the pan pastel base layers. At this stage of the painting, I'm thinking, wow, uh, the pigment is still retaining its vibrancy, which is always something we artists are looking for. And the colors you see on the pan is what you get. Whilst this paper is heavy enough to cope with quite a few layers of pan pastels, I felt I was limited, particularly when I started to apply the, pan, uh, the pastel pencils on top. Uh, please note, this is my preferred way of working and appreciate that other artists, artists work differently. 
In summary, this paper worked well with pan pastels and feel the only thing uh, you must remember is to be more careful about preserving the tooth of the paper if you want to apply other mediums such as uh, soft pastels or pastel pencils.